<clears throat> Greetings, Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope. You've got insights. And you've got, you know, structural family issues that have to be attended to. So these two things, it's like I've got insights. I know where I need to go. But I also have to have a really good foundation. And my foundation seems pretty darn unstable and uncertain right now. And so I, I don't always know what to do. But, but wait a second. There's this really cool thing happening right now. I've got the sun and Jupiter in my fifth house. That means I can be more creative. That means I can be more loving. That means I can be more generous. In fact, when you are generous and you give something, it, it unlocks the wealth of heavens. I know my producer is going to be doing really good because he's a really generous person and he's creating good karma for himself and you know that always comes back on you in many ways you know and he's been patient enough to observe it and he's a survivor and this is it this is the deal you know sometimes you have to plant seeds sometimes there's weeds that grow around them sometimes birds eat your seeds but eventually some of those good seeds are going to survive. Taurus time helps you open up yourself to your creativity and love. Full moon in Scorpio is going to turn you on to the right social connections. This is fat. This is really good. Um, be there. Pay attention to your intuition. Um, we've got a moon in Capricorn this week too, by the way. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, we do. Or we should. Um... And that will be starting Tuesday night at 7 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time. And it lasts till 10 o'clock Thursday night. So you got 24 hours, baby. 24 hours, Tuesday night to Thursday night, to uh, dance with your Capricorn man. Uh oh. 